it's just fun to be a part of that. And I think this, the NHL does a great job. It speaks to the, you know, season we had, you know, whether you want to use the term magical, historical, we had a great year. And a lot of players individually got recognized for team success. Yeah, I mean, our, our goaltending has been superb, you know, and Olmark season was fantastic. And, you know, I can't remember one game where, you know, in the regular season where I was like, oh, my God, he's, you know, he's not there tonight. It, amazing consistency. No, I, you know, you, you keep wondering if, because he started in game one, he made some amazing saves against Washington, and it just never stopped. It was kind of like, when is it going to drop? And it never dropped, right? So... We're very lucky to have them. Well, you know, William Carlson had a great playoff, as did everyone in Vegas, right? That's why they're Stanley Cup champs. Um, I have a hard time comparing anyone to Patrice Bergeron. He's the best defensive player I've ever been around as a player as a coach and his leadership, what he does to make people better on the ice and off the ice is unparalleled because he's so selfless. Yeah, it's just, he doesn't do it. Like I honestly believe he'd have 250 more points in the NHL if he had cheat in him. But the Bruins wouldn't have as many wins and that's what he cares about. That's why it's a special culture to be part of the Bruins, because of him and the others who have, leaders who have instilled that in the team. Jim, how much time have you spent analyzing the seven games with Florida? I suppose you could beat yourself up forever on that, in terms of how much analysis and just sort of like a review of thoughts. Yeah, um, you do it. I mean, you just do it, right? You do it in your head, and I mean, the games are so vivid in your memory. I've looked at scoring chances, and as a staff, you know, in development camp, we're going to review that as, okay, playoffs, where were we shy and what areas were good? You know, really pinpoint getting away from the regular season and the playoffs, how do we grow from it? You know, that's that's what I'm looking at. Um, you know, so I hope that I, answers. I thought by my answer you had a good number of chances. You sorted a good number of goals. It was more keeping them out. Would you agree or not? No, uh, no question. But I also thought we played slow. Compared to the regular season, we did not, we were very fluid in, in the regular season. And in the uh, playoffs, we played fast games three, four, and five. The other games, we didn't play fast. You're right, the defending part um, kind of got away with it, got away from us, and, and especially in big moments, you know. And I thought that um, one part of our evaluation is the, the net front battle, and I think we lost that. And I give Kachuk and Bennett incredible. Uh, kudos there. They were really good and get in front of our goalie. There was too many screens and not enough box outs for our liking. And sometimes you got to tip your hat to great players and like, you know, and unfortunately, that's an area that I felt we didn't win. If we win that area, I think we would have moved on. So do you walk away saying you should have pushed back on those two guys and those particular Just, physical pushback? Um, yes. A physical pushback on those two guys and just a um, a team commitment to boxing out more, you know, giving a pocket for our goaltenders to see pucks and being able to corral rebounds. Did you happy to watch their run to the final, Florida? And what caught your eye during that after that series? I didn't watch playoffs. It was too hard to watch, just being honest. You know, I would watch glimpses. I'd watch 10 minutes, and I couldn't watch it as a fan because I'd be like, okay, this, you know, uh, Vegas coming out strong side, but Dallas isn't taking it away. That's how, and then I was just like, ah. Oh turn TV off and go play cards or go play golf with my son.